party, and that is the Nairobi senatorial nomination, which, uh, as we speak, uh, I am not sure what's happening. I think there are two uh, certificates, one with uh, Chapia Chapia here with me, with us, and the other with uh, uh, lawyer Edwin Sifuna, who the party now says is fronting uh, to run for the senatorial seat of Nairobi. First of all, uh, Chapia Chapia, if you can tell us what is the state of affairs? This matter was in court. What's the latest? What's happening? Uh, thank you very much, Ben. What is exactly happening is that I was given an opposed certificate mm -hmm. with the rest of the people. We were around 800 people, including Governor Kidero, Governor Joho, Governor Nono, and several others. But immediately uh, after the, uh, our party primaries, which was held on 30th of April, Immediately after that, I was requested by Governor Kidero to drop my bid as a senator of Nairobi. And then... Uh, was it a friendly request? It was a friendly request, but with a hidden agenda. And then I requested the governor, if I can meet the party leader, that is the right Honorable Raila Molo Dinga, to clarify on the same. And we managed to meet the party leader, uh, the Honorable Raila Molo Dinga, me and Sifuna and the members of my committee. And in during that discussion, we did not agree on anything. And we did not come up with any conclusive ending of that particular meeting. Mm -hmm. So on the same day, my party leader, Raila Amolodinga, was being endorsed by ODM at Kasarani. So when we finished the meeting, there was totally disagreement because they wanted me to relinquish my certificate. Right. And I kindly told them, I am not willing because I am the right candidate and I am prepared to take on Sakaja. And they came up with some, uh, they, they were suggesting that I might be not having means mm -hmm. or maybe my bank accounts are too low for me to campaign in Nairobi. Then I said to myself, if I am being discriminated because I am poor as it is assumed or perceived, then I will fight for the poor. Right. Because in Nairobi, the people who are poor are more than the people who are rich. Then when and the party went ahead. Then the party went ahead and endorsed Sifuna. Mm -hmm. When I realized the party has endorsed Sifuna at Kasarani, I moved to High Court. And then my case at High Court was first dismissed on technicalities. So I went back to the political parties, district, Sorry. tribunal. Mm -hmm. So the first thing the political party district uh, tribunal did was to block the, my ODM party from presenting Sifuna's name at IBC. But when we came to the ruling of the district, uh, that is the political party dispute uh, tribunal, they ruled that I take back my case to go to the ODM for ODM to decide what is the next move. And being discriminated by ODM on virtue or on the perceiving mm -hmm. that I'm a poor man, right. I decided not to go back to ODM, so I moved to High Court. So as we are speaking, the case is at High Court. At high court. So I'm appealing. I'm appealing to any NGOs that can, can the, the human rights organization mm -hmm. and the people of Nairobi right. and all lawyers who want to be enjoined in this case to support me to come and join. So my cry is this. Why am I being discriminated? What does I not have or what can, in which capacity are we best? I am qualified to be a senator of Nairobi, mm -hmm. or does it mean a son of a retired primary school teacher, Mwali Mwadeng, cannot become the senator of Nairobi? I am a ward administrator. I am working at Huruma in slums. Mm -hmm. Does it mean a ward administrator working in Huruma ward, Madari slums, All cannot right. become the senator of Nairobi? All right. So I am fighting for the rights right. of the poor. Great. As we speak, who has the Nairobi senatorial ODM? Certificates. We both have the certificate. My certificate, I was given as an opposed candidate by the party leader. Still have it. I still have it. Uh, that was on 3rd of April. Mm -hmm. And on 29th of April, mm -hmm. Sifuna and his, uh, and his uh, 